the five-year data of DCBs in the SFA a game changer? Is there a need for drug-coated balloons in below the knee interventions and is there a class effect? And another question is, are we seeing any new complications associated with the extra patency we get with paclitaxel? For me, Chair and Cross is a very educational meeting, so I bring back new ideas uh, all the time. And the second thing is, uh, when I go there, I can await the presentation of new data in an unbiased way, and there is an open discussion possible, and uh, this is really a culture which is implemented there. I'm looking forward to Chair and Cross 2019, because we will try to translate clinical science and evidence into clinical practice by real recorded live cases and real life cases. And for me, one of the highlights of Charing Cross is always new data. Uh, and 2019 is going to be no different. I know we're going to see uh, a lot of new data, but not only see the new data, but uh, have an environment where we can analyze and criticize new data and reach some consensus. So really looking forward to that.